So now let us see, in fact, now that you have asked this, let us see uh, if there is any conflict in the two. Okay. So then this here q1 star star, we got this from a certain set of reasoning which is gamma 2 star star and q1 star star. Question is, is that a Nash equilibrium of this game? So let us check that. So is is q1 star star comma gamma 2 star star a Nash equilibrium? So is this a Nash equilibrium? What do we need to check in the for it to be a Nash equilibrium? We need to check these conditions here, okay, these conditions, which means that assuming player 2 plays gamma 2 star star, player 1 would want to stick to the quantity q1 star star, okay. Assuming player 2 plays the function gamma 2 star star, player 1 would want to stick to a quantity q1 star star. And assuming player 1 plays the quantity q1 star star, player 1, player 2 would want to respond with the function, with the function uh, gamma 2 star star. Is this clear? That is what we need to check, okay. So, let us check that now. So, let us look player 1 first, okay. So, player 1, you are, so this is player 1 plays a quantity suppose q1, player 2 is going to stick to gamma 2 star star. So, he gets a utility u1 of q1 comma gamma 2 star star of q1. Okay, this is the payoff of, uh, of, of player 1 when he plays a quantity, some quantity q1. So, what he wants to do is then maximize this over q1, right. So, he is maximizing this over q1. Now, what is the what is the quantity that maximizes this? It is q1 star star itself because q1 star star was derived from this particular uh, maximization itself. So, the so q1 star star maximizes is in fact the, the maximization of uh, maximizing quantity here. That is by construction because of the way we constructed q1 star star. It actually is the maximizing thing here, okay. All right, so good. So, one part is done. Now, let us look at player 2. So, this was for player 1. Now, look at player 2. Player 2, for player 2, we have to fix player 1's quantity at q1 star star, and we are asking what is the function that player 2 responds with. Okay. So, suppose player 2 plays a, a function gamma 2, you are maximizing this now as a function of gamma 2 and so you are maximizing this So, what is what is j2 of q1 star star comma gamma 2? I am put I need to put q1 star star here and q1 star star here. So, what is this maximization and what 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 function maximizes this? Okay, is the but remember so is there any other function? that maximizes this. So, let us let's, let's take this query carefully. So, remember gamma 2 star star was derived by maximizing a different expression. It was derived by maximizing this expression and here you have q1 not q1 star star. So, which means gamma 2 star star was max was the function that maximized this u2 of of that maximize this here for every value of q1 because we got you know for a, as a function of q1 we wanted to find the maximizer. Whereas now we are asking not for every value of q1, we are asking for a specific value of q1 which is q1 star star. See compare that with this expression, here there is only q1 star star that has been held fixed. So, fixing q1 star star 
what is the function that maximizes u2 of gamma 2 of this? So, the, the point is see remember when we are looking for a function of an arbitrary q1, it makes sense to ask for a function. Now, you are asking for the value of the function only at q1 star star, right. So, really are the what the what gamma 2 does at other values of q1 is irrelevant. So, any function gamma 2 uh, add or such that or any function gamma 2 let us say any function gamma 2 such that gamma 2 of q1 star star is equal to gamma 2 star star of q1 star star maximizes I can choose any function so long as at q1 star star it agrees with uh, the maximizing value that came from gamma 2 star star outside uh, uh, for the other values of q1 it, uh, it does not matter it can do whatever it wants it will still maximize this this objective right. So, this has become like a de it what it ha what has happened is it has become a degenerate function optimization because you have fixed the argument of the function really you are not uh, you know what you do not care about what the value of gamma 2 is at other values of q1 right. So, for example, if q1 star star was 100 what matters here is what gamma 2 of 100 is not what gamma 2 of 90 is or 105 is that is that does not affect this objective. So, all of these are are, are maximizers all these functions are maximizers in particular gamma 2 star star is also a maximizer ok. So, so gamma so, so it means that this is greater than equal to this since gamma 2 star star is also a maximizer. So, I may as well take that and that does satisfy this ok. So, you see there is a bit of degeneracy that has come up here that you know after having played q 1 star star player 2 could have actually uh, responded with with any function after player 1 has played q 1 star 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 player 2 could have responded with any function. So, keep this in mind we will come back to this uh, we will come, come back to this again ok. So, this is so this is what is what have we established then we have established that this is a Nash equilibrium ok that q 1 uh, uh, q 1 star star comma gamma 2 star star is actually a Nash equilibrium. So, the 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 strategies that we got by doing some melt you know sort of uh, mental calculation uh, kind of heuristic calculations was in is in fact a Nash equilibrium of the game. But you can see there is some the subtleties have ob already started emerging that there is something else also that is going on here that it is not as simple as just you know ok this fellow responds so then let me do this and so on it is not just not only that there seems to be more at play here. So, let us ask ok is there another Nash equilibrium or can you think of another Nash equilibrium yes mm -hmm. which is. No. Okay. So this was the. I mean, uh, so the this was the bait, uh, and, and you fell for it. So the the. Uh, so I mean, you might think that, for example, I could just replace in place since there was so much flexibility here to take any gamma two, right? Can you take any gamma two really, and will that be still an Nash equilibrium? So suppose I took gamma two, some other gamma two which was not optimal for. So, suppose q 1 star star is 100 ok. I took a gamma 2 which is uh, which is not optimal for 90 it is optimal for 100, but not optimal for 90. The question is then is will that gamma 2 and q 1 star star which is 100 will that still be a Nash equilibrium? No exactly. 
see it is still a best response to q1 star star so that that other bogus gamma 2 that i just mentioned is still a best response to q1 star star but q1 star star is not a best response to that there is no guarantee q1 star star is obtained by assuming q1 star star is layer 1 plays q1 star star because player 2 is playing gamma 2 star star it is optimal for rather let me put it this way the optimal quantity for player 1 to play is q1 star star when player 2 is playing q gamma 2 star star if player if player 2 decides to play something else then the quantity for player 1 would also change ok. So, although there are infinitely many best responses here for player 2 you cannot does not mean that player 2 can really pick whatever he wants ok. This happens again we have seen this also in when there are finitely many strategies for the player uh, for each player that yeah. That is not true right player 2 can play whatever he wants but the Nash equilibrium is not but the Nash equilibrium. I mean of course that is so whatever he wants in Nash equilibrium it is obviously. So, this is something we saw even when there were finitely many uh, for when we are looking at mixed strategies right. A player will will have in general infinitely many best responses but not all of them will actually constitute a Nash equilibrium ok all right. So, then now now tell me what is tell me another Nash equilibrium. So, let us go back to the definition this is what we are looking for. So, let us go back and see this. So, my contention is this is also a Nash equilibrium. Okay, but I will we have to interpret it appropriately. This here, this remember this what was this? This was the Nash equilibrium of the simultaneous move game when players were deciding the quantities simultaneously. Now, player 2 is observing what player 1 is is producing, ok. Yet, I am saying that this one which was this equilibrium of the in of the simultaneous move game is still a Nash equilibrium of the dynamic game. Let us see how that happens. Firstly, that equilibrium is mentioned in the space of quantities, right? So, I have to first produce for you an equilibrium in the space of strategies here. So, it is uh, so let us first do that. So, my, my claim is that for I am going to take for player 1, I am going to still take the uh, quantity that he was producing in the simultaneous game. For player 2, I am going to take a, a function gamma 2 star. Okay, uh, function gamma two star, and it's a, this is this is going to be a function of q one, but I will take it to be a trivial function. I will take it to be a constant function. Okay, so gamma two star is defined like this. Gamma two star is a constant function equal to q two star. What was q2 star? It is the quantity that player 2 would have produced in the equilibrium of the simultaneous game. It was 1 minus c by 3 that quantity ok. So, this is now a, this is identically equal to this. So, gamma 2 star is a constant function identically equal to q2 star is this clear. So, this I am going to claim this here is a Nash equilibrium of the dynamic game. In the it is a context it is a equilibrium of the dynamic game which means that it satisfies this. Are we going to use the exact form of equilibrium? Yeah, I, it does not actually may not even matter but but let us but this is what is being going to be shown ok. So, it that this is a Nash equilibrium of the dynamic game ok. So, again I need to check best responses. So, let us start with uh, let us start with player 1 suppose ok. So, player 1 when he plays q1 q1 star and player 2 is responding with the function gamma 2 star ok. So, now what is the utility that he gets here? He is going to get the utility q1 star comma gamma 2 star of q1 star right 
but what is gamma 2 star of q 1 star? Ah, gamma 2 star is a constant function. So, this is equal to u 1 of q 1 star comma q 2 star ok. All right. Now, suppose player 1 uh, let us suppose player 1 played some q 1. What happens to this? What is gamma 2 gamma 1 star of q 1? It is still q 2 star because gamma 2 star is a constant function right. So, irrespective of the value of q 1 it is still going to produce uh, the value is q 2 star. So, this is still equal to q 2 star. So, now you maximize this over q 1 what would you get? You are effectively just doing the best response to the Nash equilibrium simultaneous Nash equilibrium strategy of player 2 right. So, what is this? This So, if you maximize this now over q 1, ok, this maximizer here is q, q 1 star. So, which means that if player 2 plays the constant function gamma 2 star, it is optimal for player 1 to play the quantity q 1 star ok. So, which means player 2 plays the constant function equal in which the value is equal to the Nash equilibrium from the simultaneous game, then it is optimal for player 1 to also respond with his own Nash equilibrium from the simultaneous Nash equilibrium component from the simultaneous game. Is this clear ok. So, this is this is done we are done with. So, so for player 1 this is done. What about player 2? So, for player 2 we have now q 1 star fixed and player 2 is going to pick any function gamma 2 and the utility he gets is u 2 u 2 u 2 of q 1 star comma gamma 2 of q 1 star. And now you are maximizing this over all functions. And like we had in the earlier case, the same thing something similar is up uh, coming up here also. You can see, so like we had in the earlier case, so what is what is what is the the what is the optimal gamma 2 for player to for player 2 to play? It does not essentially the he can take play any any strategy so long as at any gamma 2 so long as at q 1 star it is equal the it corresponds to the best response simultaneous best response to q 1 star right. So, so any any gamma 2 such that gamma 2 of q 1 star is equal to q 2 star is is optimal here is the op, is the best response right. So, in particular you can take the constant strategy, the constant strategy where which which regardless of what the value of q 1 is always takes value q 2 star is also is also a best response. So, in particular gamma 2 star which is identically equal to q 2 star is also optimal. Right. So, this is this is also optimal. So, in short we what what we conclude we have we've got that now for player 1 and player 2 we have concluded that this here this is also a Nash equilibrium. Now, this is actually a, a very interesting and very general fact. You take the Nash equilibrium of the simultaneous move game it will be inherited upon suitable interpretation as a Nash equilibrium of a dynamic game. So, let us understand what what is happening in this. What is happening is in this in this sort of a game in this situation is player 2 is basically saying. So, ok let us first interpret the earlier Nash equilibrium. In the earlier Nash equilibrium what was player 2 doing? In the earlier Nash equilibrium player 2 was responding optimally to every quantity that player 1 could have played 
that was his strategy right gamma 2 star star was a strategy which gave him, which was optimal which was an optimal response to every which produced an optimal quantity in response to a, anything that player 1 produced and and then player 1 then chose his quantity keeping this you know sort of in response to this in particular is this clear but in retrospect with player 1 having played q1 star star player 2 could have played anything else but then anything else would not have forced player 1 to play q1 star star okay but but look at what's happening in this in this equilibrium in this equilibrium q1 star q1 star and q2 star the single starred ones are a very special quantity uh, special quantities because they are nash equilibrium of the simultaneous game so what hap what's happening here is player 2 is is playing this constant strategy saying always which is always equal to q2 star so player 2 is basically saying doesn't matter what quantity you produce i am going to produce q2 star and he is picking a quantity equal to that which would he, which would which he would have played if he had if in the simultaneous move game so player 2 what he is doing is although he has the information of q1 he is playing as if he has no information right he is ignoring the information that he has he has the information of q1 but he is playing a constant strategy which makes no use of that information but he is pegging it his quantity at the level that he would have played in the event that he had no information now in response to that then player 1 is also sort of has to is is compelled to play as if there was no information available available to play player 2 so effectively this has become a, this has become a, a uh, this has also become a nash is also a nash equilibrium of this game now there is something strange going on here that player in the earlier nash equilibrium in this in this nash equilibrium player 2 was guaranteed to respond optimally to every quantity that player 1 was producing right the action that player 2 was producing was optimal in in gamma 2 star star the op was the optimal action regardless of what gamma player 1 played here in this one the action is q2 star which is optimal only when player 1 plays q1 star it's not optimal generically it's not optimal in general so there will be okay there there will be there are values of q1 for which this is not the optimal strategy optimal response from player 2 so player 2 is actually by ignoring information or whatever is actually playing you know irrationally in some sense in the sense that he is being irrational in in what sense he is saying is that he is you know for for quantities other than q1 star there is he he is there is no guarantee that he is actually going to be producing the optimal quantity for himself but then in as a result of that what happens is the quantity that player 1 produces is q1 star itself and in that case he has the optimal response available so it's like this that there are in a dynamic game it will always happen that many possible paths can emerge from a game okay player 1 could have played any potential quantity from 0 to infinity okay the system could have evolved in any man, many different directions but what actually gets evolved is a result of the strategic decisions that players can play so player 2 here is if, is is promising to play irrationally or carelessly or whatever word you want to you know give for it for other values of q1 but by promising to play in a in a kind of suitable way you know but that promise is not totally arbitrary it's a specific promise it's a promise to play q1 q2 star that particular value then forces player 1 to play q1 star and then in once player 1 is playing q1 star q2 star remains optimal anyways okay so what happens is this this promised irrational play at other points never really materializes in in the in the gameplay what happened the gameplay actually sort of player 2 has effectively just navigated the game to the point where you know voila you know this is what i want anyway wanted to do you know i am optimal at this uh, for this particular strategy anyway for this quantity anyways 
okay so this is you will see more examples of this this is this is this is a very uh, this is a this is a very gener this is something that happens generically in in dynamic games that there will be paths in a dynamic game that in retrospect might seem uh, you know irrational uh, irrational but those paths never actually occur and it is the irrational promises on those paths that makes certain that decides which paths will actually occur okay so i mean i, I mean it's a, it's sort of you know it's an enlightened form of rationality in the sense that you are selectively being irrational to be rational at another level you know the, that's that's effectively what's what a player is doing in a dynamic game so his player 2 is is deliberately but very very specifically being irrational he is not being uh, you know arbitrary he is picking a very specific irrational response for other values of q1 and that makes player 1 uh, play q1 star okay now next time i will show you actually a game in which this sort of irrationality actually benefits player 2 okay so that is so it is so you might argue that oh well the earlier one seems like the more natural way of reasoning okay you know we calculated the best response we used all the calculus we know etc etc but uh, you will you will you will see that uh, there are there are there are games where this second you know where where this sort of equilibrium is actually more beneficial to the player so where ignoring information can actually benefit the player Finished your calculation means? As in finish the calculus by putting in it and differentiating again. And uh, not necessarily because you have to assume a form, right? Yes, yes. You have form. no, 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 no. You have to no. You have to you have to uh, see. So if you want to solve these uh, these kind of games, uh, you have to first assume a uh, the a form of dependence. So Q, you will have to basically assume whether Q two depends on Q one or not. So you will get you will you know if you want to use I mean since you brought this up you want to do this with calculus right you will get things like derivative of partial derivative of of this with respect to q1 you will then have to fork from there is this equal to zero or is it equal to something okay and that tells that tells you the form of whether something is being assumed to be a function of this or not yeah. Mm. No, 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 no. So it, this is this is it's it's uh, yeah. It's not always the case. In this case, player. Two, so not even in this case. Actually, the game that I will show you next this time. I, this is it's not that clear. But uh, in, in there are games where ignoring information is beneficial. There are games where ignoring information is not beneficial. See when in a, so the 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 main lesson is this. The, see in. The, so now that we are, we'll be keep we'll keep talking about information again and again. The main lesson is that it, when you have a single player problem, right? More information helps. You know, you want to take a, you want to decide which route to take if you want to go from one point to the other. More information about the traffic, more information about various conditions, the road condition, more information about you know maintenance, breakdowns, etc. All of those things will actually help you. Okay, more information only gives you a better decision in the case of a single agent you know once there are multiple players involved more information doesn't necessarily help it is strategic sometimes to act like you have not heard anything that is also a part of play that could in fact benefit you as well so i'm not suggesting you how to play in real life but but these are these are some of the consequences of game theory i mean once we follow through the logic right you get all these insights which are which are really incredible that so this is this is actually a uh, you you will see that that, that the, you in fact the game that i'll show you next time this is a fantastic conclusion that you can in fact you know uh, act like you are uh, like you are crazy and then get others to act uh, to your line effectively yeah hmm gamma 2 star star of q1 
one star is equal to gamma two star star was the this thing right yeah is equal to q two star that's right because it is the response right to this uh, to q two star yeah but see the thing is but player 1 doesn't play q1 uh, player 1 doesn't play q1 star player 1 plays q1 star star the double starred one because he because of this dependence right there is a there is, this is where the anticipation is happening he is he is anticipating how the uh, how player player 2 would respond okay